beautiful people what's going on good morning from dhaka bangladesh um, today it's around 2:45 in the morning it's about 15 degrees winter is coming back kind of nicely and uh, i woke up well ago after a kind of like i was very tired yesterday of traffic jam and all that i was stuck but uh, now i'm feeling better and i'm going with scent of the night or early morning dolce gabbana on the one edp i just already did a review on this beautiful perfume ariana grande cloud uh, I really wanted to, I was very high, high, I was very hyped about this perfume. So check it out. I'm going to be uploading side by side. So in this episode, I wanted to do a sample review and it's a thanks to Fragrance BD. My brothers always send me and bless me and shower me with a lot of gifts when uh, I, even if I do not order anything, they send me samples constantly of very expensive niche perfumes. So it, I did a lot of content. So today is going to be such a content. Thank you so much, Fragrance BD. Shubho bhai and Panto bhai. So they sent me three little samples of by Killians, okay? And these are really precious. I'm going to show you all together. I'm going to review two of them, okay? Two, not three. Why? Because uh, one of them is Black Phantom, and this is the sample uh, Shubho bhai, Panto bhai sent me. So Black Phantom I reviewed a few days back, so I think I'm going to skip it because the video is out. But thank you so much because uh, this is uh, really one of the best uh, by Killian has to offer so I can use it in the colder months about like two months left I can use it and the other one it's like uh, I'm gonna review this next it's called single malt I love boozy fragrances that by Killian makes I want to try vodka on the rocks but also aqua brandy and talking about aqua brandy I have a clone not clone inspiring uh, expression from monarch perfumes uh, it's called uh, la pom and toxic this is Apple Brandy clone, and this is one of the best perfumes I have in my collection, trust me. I love the smell of it. So today, we're gonna save that uh, single malt, and uh, the other one, and we're gonna be looking at the most uh, dark <laughs> fragrance I think they ever released. It's called uh, Dark Lord. It comes with very beautiful packaging with a skull, big skull on the box, and I think they go with that dark theme. So let's see how dark this got, okay? So this perfume, uh, first of all, by Killians, I do not own anything from their house yet. Uh, I can buy some of their uh, refillable bottles, but they don't look very nice. I mean, I like little bit presentation. I like by Killian bottles a lot. If you see my reviews, I'll put the links below. Their bottles are really expensive. Uh, I'm not saying expensive just expensive not justified no they are justified because they give you actually very beautiful like that their presentation are essence of the whole fragrance journey so sometimes they come with like a key you know sometimes they come with a box skull or sometimes the heavy packaging with the mirror you've seen them you know they're really beautiful and just for packaging you pay actually basically hundred dollars more okay so yeah by uh, Killian packaging are some of the best so right now at this current moment my most favorite house is by Killian. You know you go through phases you know like sometimes you love Amouage, Creed, Chanel, Dior, Prada. So at this moment my most favorite house is by Killian. The reason being I actually love the way they craft their fragrances. Everything I smell either it's Rolling in Love, Black Phantom, anything you smell you know like uh, intoxicated they just are masterfully done. You know you see the beauty of the fragrance. And uh, you actually can almost say it's justified, but I'd rather wish they actually provided 100 ml bottles. That would be much nicer. You get a lot more juice because if you love a fragrance, you like to spray a little bit more. So never mind. Those are not the concern. The concern here is Dark Lord. So Dark Lord, uh, I went through most of the uh, sample and this fragrance is very close to the designer fragrance. And uh, that one would be Gucci Guilty Absolute which I used to own and I sold it off because that is one perfume it's for me where I live is unwearable uh, it's a very highly praised fragrance but let me tell you one thing about Gucci Guilty Absolute before I hit this because this is a niche version of that and I heard rumors said one of the comments that uh, Alberto Morias did both the fragrances but I did not find that uh, information on Fragrantica so this perfume perhaps made by the same perfume because they almost smell the same but uh, Dark Lord is much more polished. But Gucci Guilty Absolute, it's a lot more daring than this one thing. Second thing is the opening is a lot more um, 
like I wouldn't say pleasant at all. It smells like Savlon, Dettol, hospital, you know, like Band-Aids, a war-torn country, you know, like a war going on. And it, it is very rugged and dry leather, kind of like almost feels like boozy. But Gucci Guilty Absolute is one unwearable fragrance for me because where I live, it's mostly hot and humid. But some of the reviewers who love it, I don't, I, I have full respect for them, but <coughs> Gucci Guilty Absolute is one fragrance, sorry about that, uh, is not a fragrance I would actually rock just because of that initial one hour is just so tough to, you know, digest. But I believe many people love it. So opposed to that, Dark Lord, how is it? Uh, there are mixed uh, comments about it. Some people said they like it. Some people they say they hate it. And there's some few people they like it. You know, like love is high, hate is high, like is in the middle. Um, I think first of all, this perfume is uh, not for everybody. It's very dark, but at the same time, it has some peppery quality to it. It has this beautiful uh, moment you spray it, you get like a black pepper, and uh, you get you right away can tell this is gonna get into that like. Uh, boozy territory it has some boost to it I think it's a uh, brandy I forgot whiskey brandy the one and then it goes to the leather it goes really leathery and that leather booze and a little bit dark peppery combo it's for people who are adventurers you know like moment I put it on I get the beautiful lemon lemon or lime up top which is surprising because the lemon or lime for this kind of perfume I actually do not expect a uh, little bit of freshness up top with that boost later and that followed by the leather you know <laughs> it it feels a little bit like uh like it took a lot of guts to make this perfume so uh, people who like it they like the darkness about it and they say this is absolute the best and darkest of all of by killians i think this is one of the more recent releases i think there's a cold weather sense scent through and through uh, when it's very very cold pull it off you can put it on leather jacket black leather jacket it's almost like people who love john vervetos uh, dark rebel or dark rebel rider this is for people like that you know it's very uh, long lasting the perfume lasts on my skin doesn't want to go away you know literally like if you use it for rough usage it still stays on your skin for a small sample like that uh, but i would urge you to sample this never blind buy it if you're a fan of by killing you can blind buy it no problem uh, i was just keeping this like for one to two wearings in upcoming days. That's why I'm not spraying it today, but uh, in the room, it's gonna be a bit too much for indoor usage. I think it's an outdoor sea fragrance. Bike ride, outdoors, cold weather, church. Uh, if you say a funeral, it will remind you of a little bit of death. You know, I'm sorry to say that, but uh, sometimes some of the Baikilian fragrances like Memento Mori series or some of the darker fragrances, they, uh, Shubhubai, no, Pantubai told me, like they are actually like, trying to rep not replicate but trying to go with that dark theme like there's a life after you know like death you know so uh, perhaps it's a little bit dark and gothic in that way so if you like Narciso Rodriguez for him EDT if you like by Killian other dark fragrances this one it's dark but there's no playfulness in this okay if you are looking for a coffee note or a tiramisu or something sweet uh, you can get a little bit of that boozy quality from this but mostly what you get is that beautiful leather so i don't know if anything else i'm missing but uh it has oh vetiver it has note of vetiver i think so very dark fragrance guys if you like Uncle noir also if you like john barbados dark rubber rider check it out this is one of the best uh leather we just go with the leather jacket and leather boots with a bike theme you know very beautiful perfume is it worth the money for packaging just like no comments it's just those packagings are just unbelievable just like literally did they just make those packaging wow <laughs> you can just collect it for the packaging i would actually pay for the box itself just to have you know showpiece sometimes you know but this perfume is really really nice but it's not for everybody it is better than gucci guilty absolute because the opening is much more nicer with that lemon and it's much more inviting it takes you to that journey slowly it's like i'm not gonna screw you right in the beginning you know like <laughs> gucci guilty absolute does um the gucci guilty absolute it's like you know, they don't literally give zero Fs, you know, like from the beginning, it's not trying to please you or win your heart. This one might do that because it transitioned from that opening. It goes very smoothly to that leather and it starts opening up nicely. So that dark leather, I really enjoy it. So if you're a fan of leather, booze, a little bit of vetiver, I think a little bit of citrus will really help you. So all this perfume, to me, it's not quite the masterpiece like 
uh, Apple Brandy yet. Apple Brandy is my number one. By Kilian, this moment, my most favorite. Perhaps followed by Intoxicated, uh, then uh, Black Phantom, and Single Malt. Then this one can be somewhere like top five. But definitely the best presentation in this house. So check it out. Thank you so much, Fragrance BD, for this amazing, amazing uh, sample. That's how I can create content. And I believe it will, help, it will be helpful for many people out there. Check it out if you live in a very cold country. This one can be a, like a deadly fragrance for like, you know, the most masculine vibes out there. You know, like mas manly men who love, you know, like this kind of perfume. Uh, do not feel this is unisex though. Like women, if you really love dark fragrance, you can try it. So overall, this perfume, I'm giving it uh, for the smell, everything considered, I'm giving this 8 out of 10. It's a solid 8, solid 8, but it's not quite a 10 for me because uh, perhaps of that Gucci Guilty Absolute mem memory serves me a little bit <laughs> still. Take care, guys. Have a very nice day. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the review. Bye-bye.